it's your boy Beasley here. Hope you all are staying cool, coming collected out there. I wanted to finally come to you guys and talk about this whole entire Nicki Minaj situation. Ooh, y'all. <laughs> mess, 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 mess. <laughs> but seriously, y'all, Nicki Minaj is in some hot water. Hot ass water. Boiling pot of water. All because of her relationship with Kenneth and no middle name Petty. Now y'all, from day one, I always saw her relationship with Kenneth being a big issue in the near future, and here we are today. I'm just like, out of all the men, out of all the men that she could have chose from, all these men in the industry, all of these record execs, all of these big wigs, CEOs, athletes, you name it, you choose him? Now I understand you can't help who you fall in love with, but girl, him? Like, I feel like even I could pull a better man than Kenneth Petty. Like, Nikki girl, like I said, you can't help who you fall in love with, but you dip back into the past for a man instead of like looking ahead, looking at somebody you could build a, a more prosperous future with. Like, I really honestly, I don't know if those rumors were true with her and Nas, but that definitely should have been somebody she married. Like, can y'all see Nikki and Nas? Like, that that's dope. Like, that would have been an amazing rap power couple. But it is what it is. Like, they're both narcissists, and that's probably the reason why their relationship didn't work out in the first place. But here we are today. The baby is here, so we can't really do much. Like, the baby's here. Like, everything's solidified. You two are together. You're married. All that jazz. But the main reason I saw Kenneth as a liability is that for years, you guys, this whole entire him allegedly, not even allegedly, but him aring this girl that went on the reel like yesterday and did a whole interview, that story has been on the YouTube. That story has been like underground, undercovered. And I think Nikki did her best to suppress that story for as long as she could, but it bubbled up. And it mainly caught wind to the mainstream media when Nicki Minaj went against the grain. Not even against the grain, but when she spoke her authentic opinions about the whole entire C-19 shot. Now y'all, the main reason why I took a while to do this video is because I've done videos on the past about the, um, the C shot. That's what I'm going to call it, the C shot. But I've done videos on that in the past. Like for example, the whole entire Vax that thing up with Juvenile. I did a video on that and YouTube take that completely down. Like they snatched that down within like 20 minutes and I'm just like, oh wow. So this is what we're doing. Like this is what everybody is doing. Everybody is getting censored. And I talked about this a long time ago whenever uh, Donald Trump got his Twitter taken down. Yeah, you guys hated the fact that Donald Trump was tweeting a bunch of nonsense, but it trickled down to us and now we're the ones being censored as well. Like everything, it's like they're grooming everybody for groupthink. If that makes sense. Like, you can't have a swaying opinion about something. Like, the minute you have a different opinion from society, you're automatically targeted and ostracized and made an example out of. And that's what happened with Nicki Minaj. All Nicki said was she did not feel 100% confident in getting the C shot. And then, bam, everybody came after her. Everybody just, like, all of the uh, Democrats who are supposed to be the good guys... They went ahead and they tackled her. They tackled her in the media. Everybody, like everybody, came out of the woodworks to go against Nicki Minaj. And I gotta give her her props for standing tall on her own, because what you're not gonna do is try to divide everybody and try to suppress everybody's authentic opinion. It's like, wow, freedom of speech really isn't free, especially these days. Like y'all, it's the divisiveness for me. But shout out to Nicki Minaj for standing tall. But I will say, y'all. <laughs> <sighs> testicles aside, I stand with Nicki Minaj. That whole entire um, story about her cousin's friend's testicles or whatever, j just stupid. <laughs> just absolute nonsense. You know, I'm looking at the whole entire um, Trinidad and Tobago government funny for even believing that. Like, they did a whole investigation trying to find this person uh, with blue balls, allegedly. They were trying to find him, and he even got on TV saying, like, we wasted a whole lot of time due to Nicki Minaj. We did a whole investigation, and I'm just like, why are y'all doing an investigation on a story that sounded stupid from the get-go? Like, everybody really believed that story. Like, that just goes to show how dumb everybody is. Now, I honestly hope that Nicki Minaj was really just trolling everybody with that story, because I'm literally sitting here like, did y'all really believe that story? As dumb as it sounds, now y'all, I want to try to keep it cute and on mute about this C-Shot because I really want to talk about it and go in on it, but 
Uh, I can't afford to have another strike on my channel. <laughs> I'm on the second strike, y'all. So for third one, I'm out of here. But I will say, now this is off topic, but with regards to Don Lemon, Don Lemon, you discovered you were black two years ago. So your opinion on everything and how society should act, you have zero credibility. So sit your ass down. But anyways... Yeah, when it comes to Nicki Minaj, she has my full support, especially against the media. But she does not have my support with her uplifting this man that ultimately is going to ruin her career. Like, Nicki, do you see that you are doing anything and everything for this man? This man with a very soiled history that is literally... Even having your own fan base look at you funny. Like, the Barb's do not fuck with Kenneth Petty at all. Like, it, like you're really risking your career and your livelihood over this man. Now, like I said, Nikki has a strong career, but let's keep it real. It's on shaky ground right now. Like, Nikki is nearing that retirement phase of her career. Like, she is where Lil' Kim is when Nicki Minaj came up. Like, you're the Lil' Kim now, Nikki. Like, your time is almost up. You've been holding on pretty, pretty decently for some quite some time, but girl... The end is near. Like, you need to start diversifying your portfolio like Rihanna did. And I feel like it's going to be even harder for her to do that because she continues to burn bridges. And she's continuing to support a man that ultimately just looks bad in the public. Like, he is just, he's evil in a lot of people's eyes in the, uh, in the court of public opinion. So, when it comes to you uplifting this man and defending him... It's not going to bode well for you in the long run, Nikki. And then coupled with the fact that you have always have close proximity to people that are either, that are sexual offenders. Like, you, I understand that your brother, that's your blood, and you wanted to defend him. But you defending him, even though he are his daughter-in-law, like, that was just a terrible look. And you didn't come out and talk against that at all. And now you have this man that's also a sexual offender. Who knows if he's a repeat sexual offender, but he was a sexual offender in the past. You defending him at every turn, allegedly sending goons after the victim, and low-key threatening her to stay quiet and like bribing her with money. It's not a good look, Nikki. Nikki, you're not looking good, and this man is just dragging your career down to hell with him. Like I said, I will forever be a conflicted fan of Nicki Minaj. Now, this is me just like rambling and going on a tangent, but I'm conflicted because Nikki is talented. She's self-made. She literally started from the bottom and grinded her way to the top. I have respect for anybody that's able to do that, especially in this, um, especially being a double minority, like a black woman. And then a couple with the fact that she consistently kept her career going all these years. Like, I have a misrespect for that. But some things that I don't respect her for is, for one, sabotaging other people's careers behind the scene. You not controlling your fan base when your fan base is out of control. The barbs, like, there's some logical barbs out there, but for the most part... The Barb's act like a bunch of fucking teenagers. Like, it's crazy because Nicki Minaj is like my era. She came out when I was in high school. And even I feel like I have aged out of her, like, her music, like, her fan base. Like, it's just like, 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 you let these fans of yours run amok. I understand you can't control other human beings, but goddamn, girl, you could say something. And then lastly is the fact that she's a narcissist. Like, she only does stuff to really benefit her or to make her look better, like to make her image look better. Like for the longest, people got on Nikki's ass for not collaborating with other females. And she started to do that, but it felt like she was doing that to despite other females. Like for example, the whole entire her linking up with Megan Thee Stallion. I mean, even though those two were using each other, uh, Nikki used that to get at Cardi B, saying that, oh, she can link up with other people because the whole entire time, Let's keep it real, Nicki Minaj was jealous of Cardi B. Cardi B had her shook a little bit and the industry was using Cardi B to um, knock Nicki on out of the industry. It's just the sheer fact that Nicki and her narcissistic tendencies, even though she has worked hard and she should be able to talk her shit, she should be able to say that she's that bitch because she is. But it's like when you move and try to strategically move people out of their own element, that's what I have a problem with. Like you sabotaging other people's careers to make you look better when you already look good. Like let somebody else have their time. Everybody will have their fucking time. But yeah, yo, I just went on a little tangent because it, it, Nikki, Nikki herself is all over the place. But I will still root for her at the end of the day because I was a day one fan back in the day, and I have nothing but respect for her. And she is still the queen of rap, even though. 
<laughs> that crown starting to turn a little rusty, girl. But yeah, y'all, those are my views on the whole entire situation. Nikki, if you knew it was good for the rest of your life, you need to drop Kenneth Petty like a bad habit. But those are my views, so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to come at you guys with some more content.